We are back. We are back. We are back. Let's just test this baby out and make sure it is working. All right, we got a viewer. Must be on. Still can't tell yet. Just confirming. Just give me another second and we will get started. Let the group gather. Well, it looks like we're shadow banned or something to that effect because we are not, no alerts, no nothing. But I kind of came on impromptuly here, but we'll get started. Let's get started, huh? Hey! Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another live edition of What's Trending with Juice Giorgio. We are coming to you live from the beautiful crib here in North Jersey. We got a lot to cover. We were supposed to go on Friday. And uh, I had a special guest lined up, a very special guest, and uh, I'm going to be honest, she kept me hanging. So we're back. I want to go over these topics before they get stale. We have a fresh month coming up tomorrow, fresh week, and uh, it's about that time. It's happy hour, so cheers. Let me know what you're drinking over there in the comments, Juice Heads. And we got some fucking topics to get into. Uh, topic number one, sort of breaking to me. Um, this came out today, I saw. Uh, apparently, BLM is up for the Nobel Peace Prize Award. So again, I mean, I, I think Obama got like eight in his first term for starting wars. And again, this organization uh, is just a, it's not what they say they are. Again, it's like, it's like when Congress has like, you know, the Clean Air Act bill. It sounds great, but fucking read what's in it. And same thing with BLM. I agree, Black Lives Matter. I agree, Orange lives matter, and purple lives matter, and blue lives matter, and green lives matter, and oh my god, white lives matter. I agree every life matters. But I agree I agree that black lives matter, but I, I don't agree with, with, with what's on their website. I don't agree with their Marxist fucking agenda that they want to destroy the nuclear family. So I don't really know why they're getting the Nobel Peace Prize, but who knows why fucking uh, Obama got it. Who knows why the fuck Obama got it anyway. Who knows. And, uh... We are going strong here. All right. And, I, you know, as small as this network is, as small, you know, 32 subscribers are trying to grow. Most of the people are my friends or part of other shows on the network here. But um, you say the certain buzzwords, like I say, you talk about the things I talk about. Um, I'm probably lucky I'm not even banned altogether yet from YouTube, which unfortunately is still the biggest platform. By the way, we're also on BitChute. We're also on uh, Rumble, and I'm probably going to say a name I'm not supposed to say, Ryan Dawson. <laughs> His name was Ryan Dawson, and they took him down for, I think, the fourth time, as big censorship fucking continues, folks, and uh, they're just pissing all over that Bill of Rights. They are pissing all over that First Amendment. We have no more First Amendment. It's fucking dead. It's fucking, the Bill of Rights is practically dead. We practically don't even have a Second Amendment anymore. And uh, most people can't name the 3rd through 10th. So what are you going to do? We're, they're going to have fucking uh, Chinese uh, troops stationed in people's houses soon. They're not even going to know what, what uh, amendment that violates on the Bill of Rights. Um, it's just insane. Speaking of insane and the world of politics, folks, Chris Christie, my fucking former governor of eight years, uh, probably at the time the most polarizing governor in the country when he was in office from uh, pretty much the same time as Obama, maybe like a year offset of Obama. Uh, and it, it's just amazing to me that this guy fancies himself as a political outsider. He fancies himself as somebody different that that wants to make changes for the better. Yet it turns out Last year, 2020, this dude made $1.3 million 
lobbying for a fucking law firm down in D.C., I think. Or the law firm was up here and he was lobbying in D.C., but this lobbying is really what's fucking... What's really fucking wrong with this system? Uh, one of the many things, but... Why are there lobbyists? The lobbyists should be the constituents that fucking vote these people in office. That, that should be the... Those, those should be the fucking lobbyists. So anyway, and, and then the, how you can profit from it on both sides is insane. What the fuck did this fat fuck need $1.3 million for? At least earn it legitimately. You're going to earn it lobbying? Fucking making OnlyFans, you fucking fat bastard. See how that does, you son of a bitch. You fucking son of a bitch. Oh, man. See, I, I hate all sides, folks. Um, I'm a patriot first. And this guy, if you're a patriot, I don't know how you could be a fan of his. He, he fucked us here in Jersey. He raised the gas tax. He didn't do a whole lot of good. He fucked a lot of people out of their pensions. So, I mean, I, I don't know. You're, you're pissing off everybody from, from all sides. And, and again, a Republican in, in New Jersey is like a, a Democrat, I guess, in Kentucky or something. You know, it's not really, it's not really what they say they are. And, uh, and I've gotten together in some groups with the, uh, I'm in New Jersey, Congressional District 11. And uh, let's just say some people that are in the higher circles, at least in the GOP side, aren't that nice. Maybe the Democrats are nice, or maybe that's why they're mopping the floors with the fucking Republicans in CD11, where the seat used to be automatically red, by the way. Now they're, now they're getting fucking blown out every two years by, some, by someone installed, just like the president of the United States was. And uh, I don't know. I guess they think they're I guess they think that they think they're doing a good job. I don't think it's worth my time to get involved. I'd rather talk shit on the internet. Um So let's get to some good news. Oh, <laughs> I did have to mention this too. I guess it's good if you want to consider good news. Tinder folks took down my profile. <laughs> I wasn't suspended, I wasn't uh, deleted, but they took down my profile. Because I have a couple caveats in there. Uh, it says, uh, my profile is a nice picture of me, nice few pictures of me. And then I put, swipe in the direction of your political views, which right means, you know, you like me. Left means you're a liberal and you don't like me. But I copied that from some pretty hot chick that had that. So obviously she was, on, uh, you know, to the right politically. But <laughs> I, just, I put that because of all the people that put, like, fuck Trump or, like, if you support Trump, don't message me. And I, I've talked about this before. And I'm just so tired of people uh, classifying you because you have a certain set of views and principles. But Tinder took down my profile because one of the caveats I have on it was please don't have a penis. Because I'm going to be honest, folks. I'm not trans fucking phobe. I love fucking everybody. I've said this a million times. I love you. But if you have a penis, I just don't want to date you. That's all. So I put, please don't have a penis in my profile. And Tinder, like I said, they didn't take me down. It, I didn't get like a strike. Like I probably have strikes on YouTube that I don't know about. But, <laughs> but they just straight up erased all the words out of my profile. And again, because there's a lot of uh, trannies on there that uh, they list themselves as female looking for male. And dating sites, they're fucking, they lean left as fuck because they're part of the whole big tech thing. But... Can we at least agree you either have a penis or you don't have a penis? So instead of female looking for male, it should say has a penis looking for a penis or has a penis looking for a vagina. Maybe that would clarify fucking everything and, and you don't have to erase anyone's fucking profile. So I thought that was cute and I wanted to share that story. Hey, by the way, fast facts for you because this ain't what's trending anymore on, on Twitter because Twitter, we found out what a cesspool that was and we'll get to them too. That's some good happy hour right there. Uh, did you know that the richest people on the planet now it's at that? Yeah, now it's at. I confuse that because the number forty is right beneath it in the same two bullet in two different bullet points. So the number forty comes up twice in a row right now. Richest people in the world have become forty percent richer since COVID started. Just think about that. The richest people in the world have become forty percent richer over the last what ten months, eleven months. I guess since COVID came here. So that's all I have to say about that. And that's something everyone should think about. Um, 
I don't, I don't know. Could you imagine why that is? And then <laughs> the other 40 is not 40 ounces to freedom, which is a great song. I believe it's also an album. President Biden, folks, signed 40 executive orders in his first week. And again, this is what's trending live. These are topics I'm shooting from the hip. I don't have time to get the fancy, nice graphics together. But there's that image of him with the mask on looking all confused with a stack like this of folders with the orders in them. And uh, it's just unbelievable. You know this guy has no idea what the fuck he's signing. And I think you there's like... A uh, video where you could hear him actually saying, "What? Which one is this? Like, what am I? What am I doing here? <laughs> where are we? What's going on?" All right, the famous Biden soundbite. Where are we? But that's our president that 80 million people voted for, right, folks? Oh my God! And by the way, I wasn't a fan when Trump did all all his executive orders. I wasn't a fan when Obama did his. I don't think that's how the president of the United States should run the country. But on the other side. If you want to play devil's advocate, and all an executive order is, is you're taking something that's already an existing law and you're putting emphasis on it. That's really what it is. And if it goes beyond that, you, the president can't just write law like Obama did with DACA. That you can't do. That's definitely illegal and not constitutional, but apparently elections now are, are illegal and unconstitutional, right? Not... November 3rd, 2020, any other election but that. The one in 2016, that one was unconstitutional and illegal. Not not this most recent one. BCAAs, folks. Just because it's happy hour doesn't mean you can't have some BCAAs in your system. So we got some good news. We got an official date for the Snyder Cut. Do you remember, if you're a fan of uh, Batman vs. Superman and just DC and comic book movies... You went in, I think it was November 17th of 2017, and you were looking forward to the follow-up from BBS because it was fucking good. It was Zack Snyder. It was like 300, but with Batman and Superman and fucking, they introduced Wonder Woman on screen for the first time, and she was great, not because she's got a vagina, but because she kicked ass and she was fucking, she was Wonder Woman and she's killed things from other planets before, right? And she's also pretty hot but she's a fucking savage warrior and we just wanted more. And November 17th, uh, 2017, we we're going to get more. And then we got, as uh, Dave the Film Junkie called it, who's, congratulations to him, he'll never, probably never see this video, but we correspond every now and then. He, he would probably recognize my name uh, from Twitter or, uh, or from uh, pay, not PayPal, Super Chat. But he basically said it was like a animated film wrapped in human flesh. And we got the corniest, dumbest Frankenstein piece of shit with like, I think it had about 18 minutes and it was man mandated to get shrunk down to two hours. I think it had about 18 minutes of, of Zack Snyder footage. And I remember watching it. I watched it two days in a row in the movies, Thursday and Friday, paid my ticket twice, went with my friend Chuck who I can't wait to get on the podcast. He's going to be a great guest. And I remember actually thinking, you know what? It was pretty cool. It wasn't what I expected. I know there were things that should have been in there that weren't there, but it was pretty cool. And then certain videos started to leak of like everything. And you're like, fuck. When you realized what they did, when you had that oh shit moment where you realized how bad they fucked with that movie and how little of it was what was supposed to come out. I mean, talk about justice for all. Uh, so I can't wait. March 18th, I'm having a party. I'm having people over that don't even like fucking Zack Snyder. It's going to be a blast. So I can't wait for that. Uh, and also trending. Hey, speaking of Twitter and trending. So Twitter has a new fucking program, folks. Called <laughs> Twitter Birdwatch. Yet remember, if you lean to the right of center, you're a Nazi. Well, this is literally what Nazis do. These snitch on each other. So I was listening to the Gun for Hire podcast where I got that tidbit from. Um, it's like a local New Jersey podcast. I think it has a, a national following. But it's sort of like um, it's sort of like Sean Hannity for like a state level. And it's a really good show. I highly recommend it, Gun for Hire. 
and uh, their shooting range as well. It's a, it's a podcast of the shooting range. The owner does it. He does a really good job. And uh, he's a pretty Jersey guy. Doesn't take no shit, you know, like old school Jersey. Not these freaks that live in fucking Hoboken in Jersey City that, that uh, are overflowed from the city. And uh, it's good. It's a good podcast. I highly recommend it. But Twitter now. Like, does Twitter even want anybody on their platform anymore? Because they're, what's going to happen is anybody center, right of center is just going to leave Twitter. I pretty much, I'm, I still have an account. I use it to plug the show, but that's pretty much all I use it for now. I could care less what's trending on Twitter because we all know they used to rig, they used to rig with the, they used to rig and fuck with the algorithms for what's trending. But now what's trending has got to be so ridiculously far from what's really trending. There's no point. They chased away potentially 75 million people or Trump actually think had 80 million followers now. Again, I'll be the first to admit maybe only half of those followers were real people. It could have been bots. It could have been trolls. It could have been whatever. But call it, divide it the 80 by two. Call it at least 40 million followers. That's still a lot. So you potentially chase 40 million people off your platform. I barely go on it anymore. I only go on it if I have like an alert or like if, if uh, Zack Snyder posts something or uh, the film junkie. I like to get news from him. And, and that's about it. That's really, and, and to plug the show. So keep it up, Twitter, because eventually all you're going to have is snobby leftist blue checkmark people snitching on, like, non-blue checkmark people, or vice versa. And you're going to have left eating the left, which is fine with me. That's always fun to watch. So fuck them, too, right? What else is trending this week, folks? And again, this is a perfect Sunday if we're going to do the live stream happy hour. Good Sunday to do it. It's the bye week in between... The championship Sunday and the Super Bowl. Um, and let's talk about the Super Bowl for a second. I hope we're going to do a NFL show this week. We didn't do one leading up to championship Sunday. I just uh, I was sick as fuck last week. Um, I actually tested negative for COVID. Thank goodness. But I I was fucked up. I, get, I don't know if this is going to be a yearly thing now every January or February. But last week year in February, I was like in bed for three days. I couldn't fucking move. Um, and I had a very similar, uh, if you want to call it an illness or whatever, I had it last week again and it wasn't exactly the same as last year, but it was just as bad in other ways. And, uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail, but, but uh, I did go for a COVID test and, uh, did come out negative. So that's good. That's always a good thing. And I'm not taking a vaccine. Fuck you. Dude, there's a lot of issues with this vaccine, man. Hey, give Trump credit for getting it out in the same year it came out in 2020. But it doesn't mean it's perfect. And as a matter of fact, I heard Japan is running uh, clinical trials before they release it to the masses. And I think that's the right thing to do. And they're just rushing it out here. I, I heard today, I think Pfizer pulled back their... Um, their vaccine, again, I, I it, that was hearsay. I don't know if that's true or not. Again, I don't know if anything what I say on this fucking show is true. It's just what's trending in my brain, and I bring you what I think is the truth from my point of view. Um, and if I'm wrong, just tell me I'm fucking wrong, and I'll come out and I'll, I'll admit it. I'm giving you mostly my opinion on shit. And uh, with that, video of Trump came out on a golf course, just a small, like, little clip He's walking by, he's walking by, he's got his little posse with him. And some guy goes, Mr. President, thank you for all the work you've done. And uh, you see him walk by. And then when he's off camera, you hear, him, you hear his voice, he goes, we're not done yet. <laughs> so who knows what he's got up his sleeve. He's obviously been, he's obviously been laying low. Um, he was kind of laying low after the election. And even now, even lower. And you know what? He he deserves the break. He deserves the rest. And good for him. And we'll see what comes up in the next couple of years. And and I said this too. He could try to uh, primary out all the shitty Republicans he wants in 2022. And he could run all he wants again in 2024. If we don't fix these fucking elections. If we don't abort this banana republic we, we're becoming. If we don't get a hold on free speech we're fucking done we're finished as a country 
I think we're still at the point where we could salvage something. But we'll see the next two election cycles, 2022 and 2024. Those are going to tell me whether or not we're still in a banana republic. It's going to be very telling. And uh, look, we've prided ourselves, if you think like me, and that's what I mean us, we've prided ourselves on being the resistance, on calling ourselves the resistance for years. Okay, just because Trump won an election and a bunch of purple-haired fucking retards started calling them, started saying to resist, that doesn't make them the resistance. They're on the same side as big tech, big media, Hollywood, 99% of the college campuses in this country, the mainstream fucking news, almost every fucking newspaper, and you're calling yourself the resistance? What the fuck are you resisting? You're going along with everything. What we do is hard because we're going against the fucking current. We're going against the fucking mainstream. I don't know how, how much longer this YouTube channel is going to be on because it's either going to get uh, three strikes and kicked off, probably all from this show, or I'm just going to be shadow banned and it's never going to grow. And I'm going to fucking keep doing it for 30 viewers uh, an episode because I still love to do it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And I want you all to enjoy your cake. So enjoy. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Uh, oh, here's one. Chinese government is collecting American DNA. And I think it's from uh, actually... COVID tests. So why we're in bed with China for anything related to COVID is amazing to me. And, uh, and yeah, folks they are collecting our DNA now. So whew, good thing. We have a president that gets along so well with China. Oh man. Hey guys, you hear about the GameStop stock market situation this week. So here's my take on it. And I could be wrong. But here's my take, because every time I think I have the stock market and Wall Street figured out, I don't. So I'm not claiming to be an expert. This is why I actually pay people to manage my money for me, because I fucking... If I do it myself, it's strictly gambling. I might as well just go play blackjack. Seriously. I'm better at blackjack than I am with, with uh, the stock market. But apparently a bunch of big, rich, billionaire hedge fund fucking douchebags... The elite, the people that have been getting 40% richer over the past year while everybody else has been getting fucking poorer, losing their jobs, getting taking pay cuts like I have. I've taken a pay cut. Um, <clears throat> they, they, apparently, they think they can just fucking short stocks, which means you're basically betting the stock's going to go down, so you're selling it before it goes down. And I guess when enough of these fucking big hedge funds do that, it has an effect on it, and the stock plummets. And the common people fought back and fucking drove the price up. I, I guess stock prices go up by supply and demand, necessar not necessarily profits from the company. Because GameStop is not a stock I was interested in buying ever when I started dabbling in stocks like three years ago. Just because I figured it was like a dying kind of thing. It's a brick and mortar kind of a place. A lot of people download their games now, including me. I just I really don't even care about having a physical copy of a game. As a matter of fact, I prefer a digital copy that way, as long as I log in, I know I'll always have it. I'll never lose it. I'll never scratch the fucking disc. The only disadvantage with downloading games is it takes up so much storage on the console that eventually you have to stop. You have to start erasing them to, to download new games. But anywho, the common people fought back, and Robinhood and TD Ameritrade, who I use by the way, um, didn't like that. So they actually. For the common people out there like us, the serfs, you were only able to sell or, or I don't know what they did with GameStop, actually. I think, I don't know what the, honestly, I don't know what they did. This is where I throw the papers in the air. I don't know what the fuck they did, but I heard they made it so you basically, all you could do was watch it. You couldn't buy, sell, you couldn't interact with it, right? Stocks are there to buy, sell, trade, whatever. I don't know the difference between selling and trading. I think selling is trading. So you either trade or trade, you either buy it or you fucking trade it, right? And I heard they, they weren't letting you do that because GameStop was getting driven up so high. Now I heard something similar is happening with silver. But basically, God forbid, these big hedge funds, all these 
you know, I thought the fucking left was supposed to be against all these fucking rich people, uh, the 1% or whatever. And it seems like that's who they love taking their fucking orders from. Me, I just consider myself a patriot. Which is, by the way, I'm glad, and I, I hope you like that transition. Trump is not starting a patriot party. By the way, folks, there already is a patriot party. And they're even more dysfunctional than the libertarian party. <laughs> but I heard libertarian now is a fucking dirty word. So thank God I'm not associated with them anymore. I'm just back to being a straight, all independent. Uh, I'll, just, I'll call myself a patriot. Yes, I am a registered Republican. Only because I want to see how things shake out in 2022 with the primaries. Because the only way for us patriots to take things back is to primary out the rhinos and or the shitty candidates that Mitch McConnell backs. That's the only way to fucking take... The, and again, and, and, and this is under the pretense that the elections aren't rigged anyway. So we'll see. So 20, in 2022, I'm basically going to decide um, if I'm still going to be a registered Republican or not. Not a big deal to, to be one or the other. I'll always be a patriot first anyway. Um, oh, here's something funny, folks. Speaking of, uh, politics in the White House, did you know the White House YouTube account? We talked about this last week on West Trending Live. They're still getting thousands more downvotes than they are upvotes. <laughs> Cause it's a, it's, don't they realize their audience? The White House YouTube account, unless YouTube wants to purge the account of all the subscribers, it's going to be mostly fucking Trump subscribers because that's the people in the last four and a half years or so four and three quarter years or four and one quarter years right trump was president elect in november of uh, 16 that's when the subscription rate on that account blew up in early 2017 late 2016 so who the fuck do you think the, these subscribers are and you really think they're gonna thumbs up anything that that fucking pasty faced did we'll circle back later fucking ignorant twat has to say and they're so easy on her how anybody has, how anybody gives the mainstream media any kind of credibility is insane. We'll circle back. We'll circle back. We'll circle. Do you know if I say that my job, I'll I'll get fired? Oh well, we circle back already. It doesn't matter. You're fired. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else happened on Friday, which would be not this past Friday, but um, I guess the week before. President Biden reauthorized troops to go back into Syria and Iraq. And I heard we got this gentleman by the name of Lloyd Austin back in the Department of Defense. Another warmongering, nation building, never, uh, not too many people can die on, you know, our side or theirs. Um, not enough money can be spent. Endless war kind of a fucking guy. Yet Trump was a dictator. Trump was a dictator. And, um... You know, apparently he had something to do with training, training and arming ISIS in Syria. Then I guess he moved out to Iraq. Something like that. I don't know. Probably going to get kicked off YouTube for talking about it. But fuck him too. Fuck all these people that never want to get out of these endless wars. Hey, guess what? The left has this dream of universal health care. Do you know how easily that we could have done that? If we just never went into the Middle East after 9-11. And it probably could have been halfway decent health care too. But you don't want that. You want to be broke and have shitty health care. Throw my papers up again. I only got one more topic left for you folks. Uh, but I did want to do a What's Trending Happy Hour Live. Because I, it is a fun show. It, it's like a next level of the most fun show on the network. And taking it to whole new heights. First Lady Jill Biden brought a basket of cookies to the troops that they make sleep in parking garages. <laughs> and again, um, nice gesture. I, I got nothing against Jill Biden. I mean, they call her Whoopi Goldberg, I think, wants her to operate on her, even though she's like a PhD doctor, not like a medical doctor. So good luck with that, Whoopi. Uh, I'll look forward to that operation and that whatever kind of surgery you want to get. And uh, all I'm going to say about that is, look, I could have brought them a fucking basket of cookies. And I'm a fucking nobody. How about you bring each one a fucking basket of cookies, you fucking twat? Again, nothing nothing against her personally. But, come on. 
Like, come on, man. A basket of cookies. There's like fucking, there were like 400 people in the photo. <laughs> so I guess they had to share uh, cookies or like not full cookies. Like, you know, hey, half a cookie for you. Make sure you read the fortune before you eat it. All right, folks, that's all I got for you today on a Sunday happy hour special episode of What's Trending Live with Deuce Giorgio. And uh, thank you for uh, all the viewers out there. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Best thing you can do is just uh, share the show, hit the likes button. It, it helps with the algorithm. algorithm. And uh, if you'd be so kind, maybe subscribe to the channel. It's all really helpful. And uh, ah, it doesn't look like we were fucking streaming at all. Or were we? It says, go I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Who knows? Well, either way, this will go up. So fuck it. It doesn't matter if it's live or not. All right, Juice Heads. Take care. Enjoy your February. And we'll be back for you next week with more What's Trending.